Some of you might have seen me mention this on Instagram a few times, but every week I do what's called a mastermind call with a group of three friends, and we've been doing this for the last three to four years. And in today's video, I wanna talk about what a mastermind is, maybe how you could start your own, what value I get out of it, etc. So let's talk about masterminds. <laughs> what is a mastermind? It's usually a 30 minute to an hour long call where me and three other friends get together and we go through all the work that we did for the current week and the work that we plan to do for the next week. And the point of the call is for us all to be accountable. It's tough to get that accountability sometimes as entrepreneurs because we don't have bosses. And so this kind of call I found helps hold me accountable at least. So normally we'll go through one by one. I'll say my goals for the week. Usually my goals are the same couple things. I'll say, you know, this week I needed to film four videos, film two Friday videos, and usually whatever the third thing is, like buy costumes for the movie I'm gonna film, or write a script, or write a cold email campaign for a specific project. Whatever that thing is, usually it's three, four goals tops that I'm hitting. And then I'll also report how I did for the week before. I'll say last week I did everything I was supposed to do. I filmed all the videos I was supposed to film and I did whatever the big task. And that is the beginning of the call. And that lets us all hold each other accountable. We go one by one, we go through that. We're each going through our goals. And then everybody in the group will pipe in with questions or comments as they come up. I'll talk a little bit about who's in this group as well. It's a very diverse group of people. One is a Chinese medicine doctor trying to build his practice and working in the online training space. The other one is a musician. He makes a lot of like punk rock style music and he's got a local following in his city. And then the other one is like a men's coach who trains people online how to be more manly, I think. He's gonna get mad if he watches this video because it's clear I have no idea what he does at this point. I've, I've known him for like three years. And then me, you know, the businessman extraordinaire art collector. Look at this. I, I don't think I've mentioned it. Look at how amazing this art collection is. Wow. Look at that. Oof. These are all from China, by the way, all originals, no prints here. Leave a comment down below if you think this is the greatest art collection you've ever seen. <laughs> all right, back to the video. And we try to have a mix of people from all different industries because Grant, the musician, when he talks about how he's building his brand or how he's monetizing on Patreon, I'm learning a lot about audience building from that. Or when I talk about cold email, I'm able to help Ruan, the sex coach, or Alex, the Chinese medicine doctor, with their stuff. And there's no overlap, which also lets us be more honest with each other and more open about our businesses. We're not worried about the competition stealing our ideas because we're not really competing. We're all in different industries. And that's how the call's basically structured. It happens at the same time every week. Recently, it's been happening on Wednesdays, I think 6 p.m. Pacific. And that's the accountability side of the call. After that's all done, the next part of the call is resources, where we talk about any books that we've read recently, any podcast interviews that we've read, or general life questions that we're dealing with. And this is the most fun part of the call for me because I get to pitch books to everyone and I get new book ideas, things to read. And it's very helpful for that reason, just based on the pure recommendations, but it's also helpful because it keeps me accountable and makes it so that I have to read a book a week so that I have something to talk about on the call. Usually I have to read more than one book a week because the first book isn't recommendable. And so that's the value you can get out of a mastermind call. If you want to put one together yourself, I'd recommend thinking about some friends that are entrepreneurs at a similar level to you. Ideally not in the same industry, but they can be in the same industry if you can't find anybody. Reaching out to them and meeting weekly. It's as simple as that. Actually, if you want to leave a comment, just say something about your business. Maybe there are other people on this channel that would want to start a mastermind call with you. This has been probably the most helpful thing that I've been doing because without a weekly check-in, I know personally I would run off on some random tangent and never check in. Like maybe I'd go to some other country for months at a time and completely lose focus. So having a call that I have to be on every week and report on what I'm doing, even if it's just for myself, has been extremely effective in getting me to grow and getting me to be consistent in my work. If you found this valuable, I'd love if you would share this with a friend you think would also find value. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Give it a like. I was gonna say give it a share, but I already asked you to share. And if you want more clients for your company, what we do at Experiment 27 is help established businesses find new enterprise level clients. So people in the Fortune 500, billion dollar brands, cornerstone clients that are going to allow your company to quickly grow and take you to the next level as business owners. 
You can get more info on that at experiment27.com. I'm Alex Berman. Thanks for watching.